Hello and welcome to Madhouse Militia Presents, episode 81. The following edited show was recorded live on November 3rd and 4th, 2023, over on ImmoralJuice.com, which is where you can find our live shows every single Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. The following show was brought to you by such patrons as Gordo, Crispy808, Dharma Wheelies, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penis, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about our show at immoralhole.com. You can find our old shows at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhouse militia. If you'd like to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send us an email at travelswithmiriam, M I R I A M, at gmail.com. Thanks, phone warrants are fine. How can I help you? Hi, there's a clown out here. Uh, he, he's trying to sell me like dead crow that he cooked in his truck, I guess. He says he works for you. There's a guy dressed as a clown out hey. here. Hey. Come on, buy little black chicken. It helps support the, the kids. No, man, I, I don't want it. Hello? Me, me, me. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What can I do for you? There's a goddamn person right here outside of my truck, um, and he's trying to sell me a pillow. Sell you what? Take it. Hey, man. You want the pillow, man? I got it. There's cheap. a guy right here. $30. And he's selling me a pillow. I got a cheap pillow, man. I steal it from uh, Target, you know. They say they work for you. Is that true? Oh, yeah. She's my boss. Thank you for calling. Oh, oh man. That's a good one. How may I help you? Hello? Um, there's a guy right here. And he keeps coming to my troca, and he keeps telling me he wants to give me a pillow. Um, ex- oh. Okay, what what pump are you at? Um, I'm not at a pump. I'm over there in the back, kind of by the thing that my troca says big trucking. Big trucking on the side. Big or dig? What trucking? Big trucking, like a big ass truck. Okay. Big. I got that that time. Okay, and you said, and he's, is he just walking around? I mean, he's harmless, but like, um, he says he wants to give me a pillow, and I, and I say, okay, give me the pillow, but he wants me to give me like 20 bucks, and I don't have the 20 bucks, so what happened I is gotcha. I took in the pillow, and now he, okay, okay, I took the pillow, we will, yes. We'll get that taken care of. All right, I'll Wait, send somebody out there. I'm sorry? Who am, who am I speaking to? Thank you for calling Paula Flange. This is Hayden. How can I help you? Hi there. I, I'm out here. Uh, I'm telling everyone that I work for you guys. Is that all right? I'm, You're I'm telling... dressed as a clown. And I'm handing out a barbecue chicken I made in my truck. Um, who is, is that? Is that right? This is Downey the Clown. How are you? Um... I'm just out here passing out, you know, food for free. I'm not charging nobody anything. No, ma'am. You cannot do that. I'm sorry. I'm a sir. Well, I don't care what I you are. You can't do that. That. I, I take offense to that. I take offense to that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You cannot do that. You're on a recorded line. Who, who are you talking to like that, bitch? This is the way I'm flying, Jerry. This is Taylor speaking. How can I help you? Hey Taylor, you said your name is Some, Taylor. Somebody just called my friend right here a dirty, a dirty uh, H word. What the fuck, Taylor? Uh, here? Oh, we're outside. We're outside. We're outside now. My friend, he's irate. We're driving. He's driving the truck. Somebody called him a dirty H word, and he Damn. he just sideswiped like six trucks out here in the fucking parking lot. Uh, 
I hear. So, so a car went out there and no, right side truck. I'm gonna do it. I'm no, I'm gonna do it. My friend, he's he, the guy right next to me. He's side swiping all the trucks because someone called him a dirty uh, H. Uh, 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Dwight. Uh! I don't know what to do about that. Saying that a guy just caught him again, he's 38. Yeah, Dwight. I'm gonna do it, Dwight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dwight. Oh, look, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Yeah, I, well, I'm Hi. okay, but my friend, he's upset. Someone called him a dirty H, and he sideswiped six trucks out here now. Uh, 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 I'm the troller. I'm in power now. And he's barking at people as he's hitting their trucks. He's uh, he's uh, who's the big dog now? I'm, 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 I'm. Okay, best I can do is have you uh, call the law. But uh, he's not going to call no, the law. No, he's the no. one doing it. No. He, I'm the law. I'm the fucking law. You. Ah, all right. Blah, blah, blah. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I want. I spit here. Carney Pilot. Hello. I have episodes on my hard drive. Hello. What's your name, son? Excuse me. What's your name? My name is Mike. Mike, you're the guy that fucked Crispy. Years ago, she told me you went in and you came up to her while she was pumping gas and you told her to come in the back in the bathroom and you fucked her. Are you having fun with the prank calls tonight? It, it's not a fucking prank, you, you numb nuts. It is a prank. You having fun with it? That's Enjoying. No, it's not a fucking prank, numb nuts. For perfume between your cheeks and spill it. Thank you for calling Pilot. How may I help you? Hi, uh, one of your work. You guys wear the red shirts, right? I think it's red. The red shirt. Uh, we have red, blue, and then we have the uh, high vis gr- uh, yellow, well, yeah. orange. Well, uh, yeah, the blue. Uh, the blue is for the managers and stuff, right? But I'm talking about the red shirt. Okay, the cashier. Yeah, the there's a woman out cashier. here in a red shirt. Yeah, yeah. There's someone out here, a woman in a red pilot shirt, and she says she's like five dollars. And I'm like, okay, five dollars for what? Like I just got gas. I figured maybe I didn't pay for it all. And she said no to put. She goes, she handed me this bottle of perfume. She says, spray this between my cheeks and smell. Okay. Um, uh, are you still? Uh, where are you at? Are you out front? I'm back. I'm back. I'm in back by parking. Okay, uh, the, our ca- okay. For one, uh, she needs to move off our property. Uh, and for two, our cashiers are not allowed to go out there unless they're escorted by a manager or a maintenance person. Yeah, I don't know. She's like, it's got, it's a red, it's definitely a pilot shirt, but it's like all cut up to like it shows her midriff and a lot of cleavage. And she says, "Here, five dollars perfume spray it between my cheeks and smell." Okay. Uh, uh, give me just a moment. I'll be out there. Uh, can you stand outside your truck for me, and and I'll and I'll come out and talk yeah, to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll flash I'll flash the I'll put my uh, hazards on too, so you know which truck it is. Uh, okay, I'm in a orange Atwood hoodie and a Chrome Shop Mafia hat. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. She she oh uh, shit she she just ran and jumped in the dump. Why is she in the dumpster? She just jumped in the dumpster. All right. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Hey, get out of there! Get out of there! I'm on my way. I'm on my way, he, sir. He saw her too. This guy, this guy saw her too. All right, I'm on my way. What's that bitch doing? I don't What's know. That she, crazy I told. Bitch? Boonville Pilot, how can I help you? Hello. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I'm pulling. I want to pull my truck over so I can pull down my trousers and. It touched myself. Keep talking. You're so hot when you're angry. Oh, yeah. Understood. Uh, lock over Holly here. Holly Fly, Field there. Hey, bro. Who am I speaking to? This this the manager. All right, but Hello? what's your name, bro? Jay. 
What's up? Uh, I guess you the person I got to talk to, Jay. You the one that fucked my homegirl, Crispy, huh? Hello? Hi, how are you hey. doing tonight? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm outside here, and there's a guy selling, like, what looks to be cooked crow out of the back of his truck. Uh, he says he works for you guys. Come on, man. I'm sorry, oh, he's man. Oh, lady, man. Tell her, tell her, man, I got something for you, man, he's come on. He's got, like, cooked crow, it looks like crows he's been cooking, not bird, like, not chickens. No, man, it's a chicken, man. Come on, it's a fucking chicken, no, man. man. It's still got the feathers on, man. Come on, man, give me the phone, man. Get off the here, phone, man. Come here, on, hang up on Here, me. talk to the lady. Hello? Yeah? You have a problem Hello? with me giving this man my chicken or no? Um, you're not supposed to be selling things in the parking lot. Why not? This is legal for street vendors. Because they're soliciting you're not supposed to be selling things in our parking lot. Who's going to stop me, huh? I know you're not going to get ass out here and stop me. Who the fuck you talking to? You know who the fuck I'm talking to. Get your ass back to work. Hang up the phone. Got a... No. What now? Am I help you? Hi, how are you doing tonight, honey baby? Been great. Good. <laughs> so I was calling because there's a guy out here that's like trying to sell me what looks like baked crow or something. Here. He, so you what? He, he sell me crow or something. Let me give you the phone. He can explain it to you. Here. No, nah, man, it's a chicken, man. It's a chicken. It doesn't look like a chicken. That's a crow. Uh, hello? 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 Yeah, you guys have a problem Hello? with me giving my man the chicken? The what? You have a goddamn problem with me giving this man the chicken or no? Chicken? Do you not fucking hear me? I said chicken, you idiot. It's a crow. So you're going to come out and tell me something or what? That's right. Stay in the fucking store. Don't do nothing. Hello? Hello? What's up, bro? What's going on? What's good? Who is this? I'm over here giving the homeboy my chick. You know who this is? You say you you doing what? I said I'm out here cooking chicken. And homegirl wants to fucking have an issue with me street vending. Y'all fucking better know y'all fucking whatever because I'm allowed to be here, bro. You and her can't tell me shit, dog. I don't give a fuck, bro. Where you at? I ain't telling you shit, bro. Get your ass back to work. Hang up phone. How all about right. that? All right. I'm going to come outside. I'm about to see. Where I come? You ain't going to do shit, bro. Get your ass in the... Get your ass in the... Sorry, pilot. Hi, why are you concerned? Tony Pilot. Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, you can't yes. hear me. Okay, good. Wasn't sure. My my son was concerned about something, and uh, he might have overheard our conversation. I'm sorry. Uh, I had a question regarding whether or not you had um, the gasoline gummies. If we have what? The gasoline gummy. It's, you put it gas. in a gas cap and it, it gives you gas. Let me put my son on. He was telling me about it here. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Sir? Sir? Speak. Hello? Is he there? What happened? Hello? Hello, can be downtown? Hi. Hi. When I come there, is it alright if I bring in some artichokes? What is artichokes? Well, 
It's a bunch of ladies I'm with. They they ought to be choked. I like to eat artichokes. Uh, you already have a reservation? Yeah, I'm bringing artichokes with me. Uh, you mean food? Yeah, yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And women. No, like, uh, like I mean, like meal, like food, artichoke, like. Well, they they can be choked, yes. Yes. If you mean uh, the food, it's okay. If you mean like a person, uh, if you're not like, uh, if your reservation is not for two guests, you cannot uh, bring anyone. Well, no, they're they're my wives, and they ought to be choked with the artichokes. We like to eat artichokes together, and then we ride around nude and paint. Okay. Can we do that there? Yeah, just uh, like you, you are. You said you already have your reservation, right? Yeah, my brother keeps coughing and sneezing and wheezing. He's yeah. got a cold. Oh well, yeah, I do. I've got cold. Okay. He, he's got to eat more artichokes, don't you say? There's a lot of vitamins in them artichokes. Yeah. Yeah, and the the women they ought to I'm choke. On, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, I'm gonna try eating the gravel in the fish tank. I heard that helps. Yeah, he's like a bird like that. They got different colors. I think that means they're like fruity pebbles. Yeah, cereal of the sea. I think they hung up. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for calling Days in Downtown Vancouver. I can help you. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? Let me have my brother the phone. He'll take care of this. Okay. Hi, I'm the brother. How are you? Good, you? I'm good. Uh, I'm just playing a video game on the computer here. And what are you up to? And then getting nowhere. Hello, Red WCA Hotel. How can I help you? Hi. How are you doing tonight? Great. And you? Oh, I'm wonderful. Yeah. I'm here with my family. We're driving in a station wagon, and uh, we're we're a little lost, but we're trying to find the hotel. Uh, there was a guy here. He he pointed us in your direction because our hotel closed or something. We got scanned. And they told us to, to call you up and, and see if you had any rooms for uh, tonight. For tonight. Do you have credit card with you and ID? No, no. We only deal in um, uh, United States currency because we're foreigners. So that's why the main problem. No, like, oh. I don't know any hotel. Uh, but we're from America. We're the greatest country in the world. I I know I understand. You have to if take our have... money. You have to. <laughs> it's legal only... tender. You have to take it. It's not because <laughs> it's any any hotel in Vancouver can't make reservation without credit card. But oh, okay, uh, well I have, have a card that has a number on it. It's from uh, Sears. Yes, it's my I Sears understand. card. I think and that'll work. It says Visa if... on it. That that probably works. If you have debit any other card, the only option that you can use, you can try to book online manually. Oh, no, no, no. I've got yeah. the number right here. It's four, 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 oh, four. I can't make reservation without. Oh, sorry, sorry sir. Well, what I about can't... if I if I if I hand you the bills? Like I have I have my my gas bill with me and my electric bill. No, we can do it only with a credit card. I'm sorry for that. Okay, well, I've got a credit card here, but it's from America. I don't know that you take Yankee bucks, it seems. Is it, it seems Visa like you only or Master? Take coughing in my ear bucks. Is it Visa or it's MasterCard? Uh, it's uh, Master Visa. No, it should be Visa or MasterCard. It can't be both. Hold on. I have the Canadian Express Master Visa right here. So 
It's master or it's visa. It's master visa. And the, the card is shaped like an octagon. And I put it inside my dog's ass. And gold comes out of his mouth. Chocolate gold. Okay, sorry, my sorry. dog is a robot. I made him. He dispenses chocolate. I understand, but I can't make reservations. Sorry. Okay. Um, well, happy. Uh, I hope you have a good night then, because uh, we're going to be left out in the cold now. All, all of us, and the dog too. And I don't like it when chocolate gets cold, because then it blooms and the fats come out of it. Good lag. Good morning, Green Hello. Hi, how are you doing there, sailor? Fine, thank you. I can help you. Oh, I'm here with my mother. Let me put her on. <laughs> bye bye. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Mister Tiger. Help. Yeah, I got a question. Um, what's the age limit there? Limit is in lower limit. Or upper What's limit. The we don't have an upper limit. The youngest, eighteen. Okay. okay. Um, so my son uh, recently came out to our family, and um, I'm trying to be supportive of, you know, his his lifestyle. And um, so I wanted to accompany him down there because he's really nervous about it. He's never been to a, a spa like this before. Um, right. Can you make a rec- can you make a recommendation as to like the type of attire we should be wearing? Is it your son? Yeah, yeah. Your biological son? Yes, he just turned 18. Uh, well, I mean, it's a sex establishment. I'm, I'm trying to be an ally. A what? It's a sex establishment. Y- y- I know, we're both male, so the, there's not, like, a sex issue. Um, I just kind of want to get the lay of the land. I'll probably leave if he gets comfortable, but... I kind of want to be there to support him, you know. His mom was wanting to come down too, but I thought, you know, it's a spa. Usually it's like, you know, sex separate, so. Right, I mean, you can come in wherever clothes you want, but then you have to wear a towel around the building. Okay. Um, and what kind of amenities do you guys have? I have a sauna, a hot tub, and a, and a steam room. Okay. Do you guys do any, like, treatments? Like, any spa-type treatments? Like, facials or anything like that? Uh, Nothing like that, no. Okay. Um, Let me grab my son real quick and see if he has any questions. Hey, buddy. I'm on the phone with them. No, pick up the other line. Jesus Christ. Christ. So you want. Well, did you have any questions for them before we go down? Yeah, listen. Um, my dad wants to, like I gave him my Apple, my Apple, and my new Apple phones, and he's gonna want to record. He's gonna want to record the moment. Dad, the recording's too far. So, I mean, if you're gonna say that's not, I'm so telling you, you're lying. Director, you're crazy. Hello? Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Good, how are you? Good. Um, I was just, I had a question about the spa. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. What's your question? Uh, the spa's there? not open right now, so I'm not sure if I can answer oh. it. Okay, well, when we're there, uh, would it be all right if we engage in erotic combat in the spa? Uh, I'm not sure on that one. You'd have to check back in in the morning. All right. Now, my son had a question. Let me give him the phone. Hold on. Just give me one okay. second here. Son, okay. here. Take it. All right. Where's the spaghetti? Hello? Hey, if you're a spa, where's the spaghetti? One second. No. That's a nice piano. Hi, this is Shauna. What was your question? 
I was wondering, uh, since you're a spa, where's the spaghetti? Good night. How can I help you? Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, how can I help you? I'm, I'm scared. Um, I'm out here, and I'm concerned about the recycling of the food. Repeat that again? Well, when I'm done with the food, how do I recycle it? Oh, okay. Thank you, Nuno. <laughs> Thank you for calling Depot and Suicide. Amanda, how may I help you? Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Okay, good, because we got a situation out here. Um, something's going on here. I'm not sure, like, if you're aware... Have you heard? No. Okay. So a guy was here. He was cooking what looked to be crows and pigeons out in the parking lot here. And we chased him off, but he came back. He says he works for you guys. Oh, my. And it looks like he's cooking, like, crows and birds, not chickens. But he's selling it, you know, he's, he's hawking it to us and trying to get us to buy his... His uh, birds. Okay, and you said he's out in the parking lot right now? No, no, we chased him off again, but like he keeps coming back. Mm. Okay, and you said he says he works here? Yeah, but he keeps trying to sell us, like, roasted crows and pigeons. It's really weird. Okay, um, I will alert my boss to what's going on, um... Oh, don't do that. No, because we, we paid for him to be here. We, we're, we're from the business. We're from the business association. Okay. We we're, just, we're just paying to, to uh, infuriate the locals with strange behavior and things. That's all. I see. Okay. The, the city has a budget for these things, you see. I've never heard of it. But... Yeah. He's a spectacle in your parking lot, and uh, we paid for him to be there. But we keep running him off because he's not fulfilling the whole contract. He's not supposed to be selling it. He's just supposed to be making it. You know, and the roast bird smells very good in the parking lot. Okay, then. Um, yeah. Yeah, I It smells never... like barbecue, you know. Barbecue chicken, it's really good. Okay, um, but is he is yeah. he actually causing a disturbance that I need to come out and deal with? Or oh no it... no no no. Hello, sir. Oh, what yes? are you doing? Oh, I'm what? just. I. Uh, okay, I have go. you seen the movie? The, have you seen the movie The Crow? My name is Brandon Lee, and The Crow allows me to come back to life and avenge my death. So you can't be doing that shit to them crows. But they're tasty. You understand? They're very tasty. Every crow you cook, that someone can come back and avenge themselves. You gotta pick something else. But I like the pigeon. There's some squirrels over there. You can get the squirrels. No, they're too nutty. Oh, now you're making jokes. Ma'am? Yes? Can you talk some sense into this guy? No, you tell them that I'm crows are a... like. No, because I'm not. You're in not a in movie. what? I'm not in the well, movie. <laughs> I I need to know. You're if, not if gonna be if you have the with. attitude. Is. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's become sort of like your life's work now. This is what you're mm -hmm. gonna deal with. No. On Sunday, when you you know the clock gets like to 8 p.m., you're gonna start dreading it on Monday morning. You know, it's like, oh, Monday, I gotta, gotta work on that fucking crow problem. Like, damn. <laughs> okay. Really? That was how it Thank Middle you for calling Arbor Suites Medical Miles, Sierra. How may I help you? Uh, hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, uh, this is the front desk, right? I just want to make sure before I get all involved here. Yes. Okay. 
Um, I had borrowed one of the cars from uh, from the lot. Um, has anyone reported like a missing vehicle at all? No, uh uh-uh. uh. So if I if I bring it back and just kind of because the keys are in it, like I don't think that's stealing. Okay, now what? Like I can just I can just leave it. I, well, I can just leave it where I found it, and I. I mean, I didn't put any gas in it or anything, but I figure, you know, they're not going to know. I just want to make sure that no one was, you know, I, I didn't want, like, cops or nothing looking for me. Okay, so what vehicle did you take? Does it matter? Then nobody knows. I mean, I I guess not. Um, I mean, do what you do. Exactly. I mean, so, I well, mean, it sounds like you're trying to help. start well, you're trying to get me in trouble. No, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I just want to know what vehicle you took. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're trying. You're trying real hard. See, why would you ask that? That way I can look in the system and see whose vehicle you took. <laughs> see, you're starting some shit. You're going to get me in trouble with somebody. You took the vehicle. Well, I borrowed it. I didn't, like, steal it or anything. I mean, I'm I'm bringing it back. All right, well, do what you do. Well, they left the keys in there. It's not that, you know, I mean. I mean. I was just walking by, and the keys were just in it. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. Do what you do. Well, I'm going to fart in it when I bring it back. That's fine. As long as you bring it back. Then I'm going to come in there and brush your hair. I'm going to come in by the front desk, and I'm going to brush your hair. You're going to brush my hair. Yeah. Right on. That's the kind of guy I am. Sounds good. You got a brush? Actually, I do. Too bad. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use my old broom. I mean, do what you do. It's like... I use it for multi-purpose. Sometimes I use it on pubic hair. Ooh, that's a little much. It smells. It's. It smells kind of. <laughs> you ever yeah. smell like uh, if someone like, huh? It smells like Brandon. <laughs> I hate it when it smells like Brandon. Right on. That stinky motherfucker. <laughs> Alrighty, well. Kind of, kind of, kind of shoes do you have on? Do you have any socks? Any? I'm sorry. I, the, like you know your shoes? I don't know. I, do you have like, like red shoes or yellow shoes or are they just like regular? They're black. Oh, it's so kind of regular. Are they black or are they brown? They're black. Why? Why are you my have shoes? To wear black? Those? No. Yeah. I just like black shoes. Just take them off. Take them off. Yeah. Uh, put, put put your phone by your shoes. Are you gonna to talk to my shoes? I want to hear your shoes squeak. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to uh, do my ending shift stuff, so. I want to clap some shoes. Right on. All right, well, good luck bringing the car back. I love you. And you have a good night. You smell nice. I love you. Thank you for calling. We came to the end of the streets about winning. This is Justin. How may I help you? Hello. Hello? Hi. Hello. How are you doing tonight? All right. All right, good. Listen, I need to know if you got any uh, 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 beds. No, I do not. <sighs> okay. Not for tonight, no. but for two days from now. <clears throat> Monday? Yeah. Monday. Monday or Sunday? Monday. Mon. Yes, I do. 
Okay, I need one room. I need one heat. I need one bed. I need one blanket. I need one soap. All right, it's going to cost you 268 before tax. That's more than one. No, it is not. One dollar. One dollar. All right. One dollar. One bed, one soap. Thank one you for shower. calling La Quinta by Wyndham, where our hotel to help you wake up on the bright side. With over. Hello? My place. How can I help you? Hi. When I woke up, uh, there were the wrong shoes in my room. I was sleeping all day because I worked all night. I uh, came here, and now the shoes here are not my shoes. These are clown shoes, and I'm not a clown, I swear to you. Who came Sir? in my room and switched my shoes? I honestly don't know, and I really don't have time for jokes. Have a good night. Well, there's no joke here. Someone stole my shoes. Okay, what room are you in? I'm in my room here, uh, 310, I think it was. I don't have anybody in 310. Well, then that might be the problem, because I've got shoes in here. I need to get my shoes out of there. Okay. All right, then. In the pitch is dark. Hello, thanks it's for calling. It's snowed account. here. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, thank you for Hi. calling. Yeah. Is this the front desk? Yeah. What kind of shoes do you guys got on at the front desk? Like, what kind of shoes do you guys do? Like, what are you doing for shoes? Sorry? Like, do you have, do you have, what kind of shoes do you have on? Are they boots or are they shoes? There is no shoes over here. No, your shoes. What kind of shoes do you have on? Sorry, I don't know. What Do you have socks on? What's the matter with you? Are they boots? What? There are no shoes your feet. here. There's... What's on your feet? It's... What's on your feet? You have boots on? Why... Why do you want what's on my feet? I'm wearing boots. Do you got some boots on or are you wearing shoes? Uh, sorry. What do you have? What do you mean you're sorry? That's super great. This is Autumn. Hello. Hey, uh, hi, Autumn. Yes. Hey, hello. Hey, um, has anyone reported a? Yes, has anyone reported like a missing vehicle or anything? Um. No, I do not believe so. Uh, okay. Um, I had borrowed a. I can't remember if it was this hotel or the one right around the corner. Like, I can't remember which hotel this car came from. What? You, I'm sorry. Can you can you explain a little bit more? What do you mean came from? Oh, uh, I was I was walking by one of these hotels around here, and uh, I saw I saw keys in the ignition. And I I didn't see anybody around, so I I well I didn't I wasn't trying to steal it, but I I don't remember where I don't remember where to, like, I'm I I just wanted to have a quick quick drive, and I don't remember where, you know I don't remember, I don't remember where it came from. Um, and what's your name? Well, I don't have their name. I could, I was looking in the glove box. I don't think this one has insurance. No, what's your name? Why do you want my name? I don't have the I don't have the owner's name. I don't know whose car this is. Uh okay. Was it the motel by Walmart? Uh that's one of these out like, here. Or was it do you know what it looked like? Was it there's a it motel? Was, by, it's a Honda. I like Honda with one of the with the H Honda. I'm sorry, ma'am. I've been drinking. It's okay. Um, I didn't think it would yeah, work, I and I started it... driving around, and then I forgot what I was doing. I just kind of started driving, and I went to the gas station, got something to eat, and I'm like, 
fuck, where did I park my car? And I remembered, oh, shit, that's right. This is not even my car. I gotta get this back before I get in trouble. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, it belongs here at Super 8 in Bethany, across from Walmart. I'll bring it back. Okay, where should I leave it? I'll just leave it somewhere over there. Um, I would leave it by the front. Oh, man. Why? I'm just going to, I don't know. Well, because, so then, so then they know, like, it's there? I think they're going to know. If it. I, well, I forgot it wasn't my car. I was smoking weed in here. It 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 smells like it smells like weed. It there's um, I didn't put any gas in it either. I'm sure I'm sure they'd be less worried about all of that as long as they have their car back. I mean, I'm sure they'll um, be more grateful that you're bringing it back than just you know. I don't want to steal it. You think I want to steal it? It's, it was just kind yeah. of like, oh, there's a car, I should take it. <laughs> and I, I'm like, oh, fuck, it, it worked. I didn't think it I didn't think it'd actually work. Is that guy missing a car? I'm sorry, what? Is that guy missing a car? Is it his car? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ask him if he's got if he's missing his Honda. Tell him it's a Honda. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Sir, sir, are you missing your Honda? He didn't say anything. Yeah, he is. You're being he stupid. Just no, you're being, you just... You, what? Go get him. Hello, stupid? Hello? Pretty Hotel, this is Violet. How can I help you? Hi, uh, whose shoes are these? Do what? I'm out here in the parking lot, and there are shoes. Um, I'm not sure. Those boxes of shoes here. They're unattended, but they're my size. Do you know if they're someone's shoes? I'm not or sure. Or they're up for grabs? Uh, if you could bring them up to the front desk, I could see if they're another guest. Well, I'm already wearing them is the problem. I put the box in my car, but then I got a second thought and I thought, well, maybe I should ask them. Maybe they know. I, I thought they were mine, but the ones I bought weren't this color, you see, and they fell. I see them now. They're behind the truck. And there's a guy over here, and he's laying on the ground. And he's screaming about his shoes, his shoes, but I don't think... He's... You want me to talk and put him on the loan? Well, I... Shoes. Are these your shoes, sir? I did shoes. Here, let me give him a phone. You guys are outside the hotel? Hello. I I was outside on the floor. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I I can't find my shoes or my glasses. Have you guys been drinking? I usually bring uh, a little bit, officer. A little bit. I only had one drink, though. Okay. I usually bring my shoes and my glasses with me. So I have to... This is... This is the front desk of the hotel. Yeah, I was using the vending machine in the hotel... And I uh, got some booze out of it. It said Coca-Cola on the button, but some Jack Daniels came out. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> we do not have a vending machine here. Oh, there was some glowing thing that gave me Jack Daniels. I thought it was a machine. Can I ask who's calling? 
And this is the guy from the floor without the shoes. I, I need I need things and stuff from you. Ma'am? Yes? Do you have something I can mix with this Jack Daniels? I don't right. like Jack and water. Now, if you had a Coca-Cola, I could do Jack and Coke. Actually, I already did Coke today, but yeah. Let me, let me ask you a personal favor, if you don't mind. Could I pour Jack Daniels in your shoe and drink it out of your shoe? No, sir, you may not. And if you can't give uh, me there's your these change. girls on the internet that do it. They say, oh, send me $10 to my PayPal sir, and I'll drink out of my shoe. Sir, if you cannot give me your name and tell me what room you're in, <laughs> I'm going to have to call somebody to help you. Well, I'm going home anyway, so you're no help. I'll find some other broad to drink out of their shoes. So you have a good night there, honey baby. Yep, you too. Bye. Hang up. Just for anyway and Lake House Hello? Hotel, can I help you? Hi, I'm here inside the lake house. I can't find my way out of the doorway here. I got in to this little door back here. And it's very dark, and I can't find my way out. I'm not sure where you're at. Well, I'm inside the building somewhere. I'm just not really sure. There's pipes and and, and things in here, but I can't find the door because it's very dark. I found my phone. That was in my pocket. I put it there. Well, who am I speaking I had that. This is Davey. How are you doing tonight? Well, Davey, what room are you supposed to be in? Well, I'm not, that's the funny thing. I'm a local. I'm not supposed to be in a room. You're not? Uh, it was... Well, how'd yeah. you get in my building? Well, the door was open. I opened it, and I walked in, and then it shut behind me. But I haven't been drinking, you see. And I can't... I don't remember it's dark in here. I don't know... I thought I was going the right way, but I knocked into some things, and I don't know what this is. I burned my hand on something, though. <laughs> I don't have any rooms in my building that are like that. You don't have that. any rooms? Not that you, you can just window? walk in. Well, there was a window that I had, and uh, I saw, you know, there was a person inside, and they were looking at me, leering at me. And then I, I walked past another one, and they were... They looked at me and they they gave me the finger. That's not uh, very you nice. can't be inside my building. Why? I because I don't have any rooms that you can get into. Do you have any doors that I can open? Because I opened the door and I'm inside now. Uh, no, not the guest rooms. You need keys to get into. There's no doors. There's no doors or windows. No, where I don't I? have. Is this I a don't know where you are. Do you have a basement? Maybe I'm in the basement. I do not have a basement. Well, then I don't know where I am. There's a door. There's a toilet. There's a shower, and there's water, but there's no door. You're not in. You're not in any of my rooms. 
But I'm here. I was here all day. I was outside. I was in the lake house. And we went to the, the boating center yesterday. Well, you're not in my building. Oh, there's the fence back here and the billboards. Out there. I don't Hold have on. any billboards. I think I found the window here. Hold on. Just give me one second here. Let me... I think I see light. There we go. I got it open. There we go. There we go. Oh. I don't know where you... You're not in my building, though. I got it open. I broke the windows. I'm breaking the the windows. I'm breaking the windows! I'm free! I'm free. I'm free. Uh, Okay, so, but you're not in my building. Well, I was in your building, and now I'm not. I broke free. And you're outside now. Yeah. Oh, I see you on the phone through the window. You see what? You, you, can you move a little bit to the left? You see me? I'm waving. See me? I'm waving. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hi. Yeah, hi. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, you have to put your phone right in the trash. What was That's that? That's what we did when we got in the room. When we got in the room, we put the phone in the trash. Because it kept um, ringing. It kept ringing? What room are you in? 310. It kept ringing, 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 ringing. And my son, he took it, and he, he, he took the handle, and he, he jumped on it, and he broke it. He broke the um, phone. Okay, well, I will have someone uh, come but and grab But why were they calling? The they kept calling. They said they were from the front desk, and they told us to do really weird things. So my son, he was letting, you know, he was letting someone take advantage of him over the phone. I don't know, First sir. I've, I've the, been here all day, and, and we I have not called that room. Okay. So, so, so not, it wouldn't have been anyone from us. Calling. It wasn't you're anyone from ones, us, sir. Okay, so you're not telling us to, you know, pee into the cups and, and bring it to you? No, sir, definitely not. Okay, because my son's been doing that all day. Okay, well, I am sorry. I'm not sure who that could have been. All it definitely wasn't anybody from the hotel. The cups are all filled with urine. We need more cups. Okay, well, I I will see if someone can bring them to you, okay? Okay, and what do we do with the filled ones? Would you like that? Um, I would, I would, yeah, just, just with go ahead phone? and put them in the trash. Okay, with the phone. Well, could you take the phone out before you, before you put those in there? It's already been done. Okay, all right. I will um, let housekeeping know, and they will come grab them from you in the morning. Okay. Okay. And what are we supposed to do with the dish? You know, the, the hand towels that were uh, dirtied and sullied with my son's fecal matter. Um, well, if you could just lay those out in the hallway next to your door if you don't want to keep them in your room. If you are fine to keep them in your room, if you could just throw them maybe under well, the Well, yeah, we'd like them. to remove them because they are creating such a stench. It's unbelievable how little makes such a horrible smell, you know. And then he microwaved it. Well, you can't do that because there's no microwaves in the rooms. We brought our own. We had it in the truck. We brought it in. Okay. Well, yeah, just go yeah. ahead and, I guess, put that in the hallway, and I will have someone come grab it. Okay. I, I have to be sure you're the right voice on the phone, because we had voices on the phone earlier. That's why the phone's in the trash now. Cause they told us okay. to smash and jump on the phone, so we did. Okay. Well, I will let my manager know, but question. I can guarantee you no, that wasn't anybody question. from the hotel. We just blindly trusted the voice on the phone. 
because they said that it was you. But uh, yeah, now yeah, we we you know looking back on it, it's pretty obvious now. Yeah, that maybe I, it wasn't, I would assume you know, you. so. Yes. Yeah. Now okay. hubris, hubris. We 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 over we thought we knew all the answers, but we didn't. We were wrong. Hubris. Okay, um, well, I'll let my manager know in the morning. Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm I'm just kidding. It didn't happen. It's just a okay, joke. Okay, all right. It's just a joke. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Okay, sir. Have a good I night. I don't even have a son. I don't even have a son. I don't even have a son. But if I did, he'd get a swift kick in the ass if he believed anyone on the phone blindly. <laughs> Better believe it. Right. Have a good night. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. I know what to do. Thank you for calling Margarita Bell. I'm not get to call. Hi. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I had fished. I took it out of the ba- uh, out of the bathroom, out of the toilet. Where do I put it now? Because I, I took everything out. Where where can I dump that off? I took it. I took I'm it sorry, out of the toilet. It was, it was the toilet wasn't flushing. I couldn't get it down. And I took it out. I took it all. I, I took everything out. Oh. Um. Where do I put it? I, it? I won't go down. It's not well, it smells. Okay. What it smells like real bad. It's like it's like it's warm. What room are you in? I well, we're heating it up though. Like we're trying to heat it up and like pour it back down. It wasn't working. Now it's like all hot and it smells up here. Like the whole like. All, Everything smells like outside the room smells. It's and we drop some. It really smells right now. It smells out in the hallway. We drop some out there. Okay, we couldn't get it to go down. I don't think you understand. Oh, I'm. Well, a, I I had to. I it's. I I walked away. Oh, I'm on my. I'm on my cell phone. I'm walking away from that. Hello. Front desk. This is Scott. Kind of- Oh, who was that before? I thought I was talking to the front desk. I was telling them that the toilet wasn't working. I had, I took everything out. I took it out. I don't have anywhere to put it now. And it was it was a whole thing. Is this the front desk now? Yes, it is. Okay, I took everything out. I couldn't make it go 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 down. We tried heating it up, and now it's now it's warm. And it won't, still won't go down. We took it back out. I, we dropped some of it, and it's it's. I, I had to walk away. I had to walk away. It smells real bad. It smells outside. It smells. It smells. We try to heat it up, like like with with heat. What's your room number? I'm not in the room. Like it's. Where, where do you want me to be? Tell me what what number you want me to go by. I'll go by that. I have I have some of it in the bag with me. The, the rest of it I have just had to leave. I couldn't. I'm gonna have to go back for a second, like a second um, extract right, for a second time. I'm gonna have to go back for a second time. Now, if you're having a toilet issue, I can send my engineer. Oh to God, take you're care useless, of that. aren't you? Know what your room is there any? Is. Is, do you have like a you need to have an engineer to figure this out, man. You're. Do you have someone that's not useless? Can I talk to them? Oh, sorry. I need to know where your room number is. Yeah, so I can send my engineer to that room. Okay. No, I don't need an engineer. I need somewhere to dump this shit. Like, what's like? Why can't Why can't you help me? Are you on the fucking moon? What's happening? Well, sir, what's your room number? That way I can send somebody to assist you. Buzz, do I need to change radio frequencies? What's the matter with you? Just tell me where I dumped this stuff. We just need a little beep in the thing. Let's see if I can get it sorted. Lead Lodge Front Desk, this is Amy. Can I help you? Hi. Uh, we got a situation with the toilet up here. We We were using it. And it wouldn't go, it wouldn't flush. 
So we collected everything okay. out of it. Um, where do we put this? Okay, what room are you in? The bathroom. Which uh, bathroom? That's where? where? The issues. Oh, it's here. Are you in the are lobby the bathrooms to, or in the conference yes, room? Yes, yes. The lobby bathroom. That's where. That's what I meant by here. Okay, in the mail in the men's room. Yeah, we were we were using it and uh, we had to collect it because it wouldn't go down. And now it's a, a giant mess in here. It's it's uh, it's quite muddy in here. If you if you understand what I'm trying to lay down here, we've got a muddy okay. situation on our hands. All right, I will send my uh, maintenance man in. I I have poo poo on my hands. Okay. Well, there's a sink right there. Wash your hands. It uh, yeah that that also got covered. The toilet it it, it uh, it's fling uh, it put everywhere everywhere. We're covered in okay. here. Okay. Alrighty. Not the ladies' room. I, uh, it's I not understand. The ladies room. Okay. okay. I All right. You know, because because I called earlier and they they never came. I guess they went to the ladies' room. Well, I I I, I I'm a man. Well, I guess they thought I was a lady. Uh, were you there? Was it you? No. No. Are you sure right, you're in well, the lobby restroom? Yeah. Are you a, are you in a guest room? Yeah. You know, I came up here. You know, let me put the guy on the phone. Cause he brought me up here. Here, take the All right, phone. Alright, I, I will. Uh, hello. Front desk, you're speaking with Quinn. How can I help you? What's up? Hello. Now you go. What's How can I help you? Uh, yeah, now you go. Hello, Best Dressed West Union. Hi. Hi, I'm here. I'm outside. And I'm looking in the window. Do you see me? Why don't you come in? Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Trust that in. Hello. Hi. Um, is it okay if if I'm scared to come in there? Are you scared to come here? Why? Yeah. Is it okay if I'm scared, or is it not okay? Who are you? My my name. Yes. My name's Brian. Is that is that okay? What, what is, what do you want from us anyway, here at this property? Oh, um, just to, you know, to, to, I want to give you money, but I'm scared. Have a good night, sir. What's the matter with you? Thank you for sleep? calling the Kenbear Hotel. My name is Dylan. How may I help you? Hello. Hi, Dylan. How are you doing that? Oh, hello. I'm doing all right. How may I help you? I was wondering if you had any uh, openings. Um, What night are you looking for? Tonight. Um, I do have a couple of rooms available for tonight. I have an artist queen for 199 or a luxury king for 249 we need luxury. Let me put my brother on. He's the one that needs the. the he has the money. I'm sorry. Did you say hey. you had the Yas Queen? I'm sorry. You said Yas Queen. You have a Yas Queen suite. Um. Yes, for one ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk to my other brother. Hi, right, listen, if you can get us a Yaz Queen suite tonight, um, I'll, I'll suck your fucking toenails clean. 
All right. Well, hey, I have to actually transfer you over to reservations. It's going to sound like I'm hanging up, but...